If you have a Squarespace website and you're walking through my pre-launch checklist, welcome back. And if you don't have a copy of the checklist yet, I'll drop a link below in the description so you can grab it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable Pinterest pin it buttons on your website. All right, I am here in my Sway template for service providers. And if you want to enable pin it buttons on your website, that is something you can do. So especially if you are writing blog posts that you hope someone will pin, or maybe you have some images on your website that, again, you hope someone will pin to Pinterest and drive traffic to your website, here is how you turn that on. And I'm going to show you a few ways to do this. The first is to go to the cog icon at the bottom of your sidebar where it says settings. And then we're going to scroll down under website here until we get to Pinterest save buttons. Now, just in case that changes, because we know Squarespace loves to move stuff around, you can search for Pinterest and go to Pinterest save buttons here. And if you're not seeing this little magnifying glass icon, you can hit the forward slash button and that will bring up the search box for you to type in Pinterest save buttons. All right, once we're here, we have a couple of options. We can enable these just for blogs or for blogs, pages, and products. Now, before we go too far, I just want to say that there are some times when these Pinterest save buttons will not appear on images. So I'm going to go ahead and click learn more here. And if you're noticing that some of your images aren't getting this button, this is why, because they don't apply to really small images, portfolio page images, light box images, gallery page images, product block images. There are a whole host of places that they will not appear. But if you're hoping someone will pin your images to Pinterest, then absolutely, let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm going to enable it for blogs. You can get a preview here of what it will look like. And there are options to change the size and the shape. So I kind of like the small rectangle. It's really clear what it is. I'll go ahead and click save here and we'll close out. And now when we go to the blog and we open this first blog post, you'll see when I roll over this image, there is a Pinterest save button. So if you click that pin it button, you will get a pop up asking you where on your Pinterest account you want to pin this image. So you can test this out by rolling over your image and clicking the pin it button and making sure that it prompts you to pin it to Pinterest. But don't because you're not in your live site. You want to make sure that all of the links that are on Pinterest go to your live site. So when you're all done, your site is launched then go to your domain.com and pin it from there. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up as it helps other people discover my videos. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best with your website. <music>